I should make YouTube videos again. Fuck. Yo, guys, what's going on? It's on a pixel here. Oh, I remember that day. I remember that day. I did. I recorded this video. I think very early. And in this video, I actually asked you guys what. And I was sick. Do you hear my voice? My voice sounds like Drop's voice, where the nose is blocked and everything. What you want to see on Twitter? We did a poll, and most of you guys want beach pattern. Are you joking with me? This is not the fucking beach pattern. Oh, to see my inventory. So in this video, we will take a look at my inventory. It is worth around 20,000 USD and it mostly consists of Cato 14 beach pattern. I'm actually thinking about making this a monthly thing, maybe like an inventory update video. Didn't go too well. <laughs> monthly, uh, monthly thing, did it once. <laughs> Never again. Fuck, what happened? Would be crazy monthly thing. My inventory changed so much. You sit on stuff for too long. I don't. I actually don't. I always think like a two, yeah. But at this point, I, I have a, a, like so much different stuff. It's boring. Come on, bro. Monthly, I would have so many new items each month. Thank you very much. <laughs> what is going on, bro? I think I've watched this video like three times. What the fuck? I have to make new videos. Fuck. Okay, look, let's scroll a little bit up to the first row. Okay, those are the first. Oh two. my god. This is like nostalgia right now. This A1S. Ah, who did I buy it off? I think Souvenir. Or Souvenir bought it, I can't remember. This AK I got from... Did I get it from Buff or was it IQ? I can't remember, but I sold it on Buff, I'm pretty sure. The first one. When was this? We are starting it off with a banger. <laughs> what? This was over one year ago. One year and three months. Holy shit, the time is running. <laughs> Take a look at this beauty. <laughs> Such a beauty, look at this. You see some scratches? That's what I like, because it looks like the gun has actually been used, you know, it has the vintage wipes. I also don't like, uh, I wouldn't buy uh, a new watch, I would buy a vintage watch. Look at this. You see some wear. This is, uh, it shows you like some Chinese collectors have already used it in the war, in CSGO competitive. I like it, I like it. And this one, it's not that expensive, it's around 600 to 700 USD. I would how much is it now? 600 USD? That's cheap as hell. I think I sold it for 2k. You owned it? Oh shit. I think Draps has it now, right? Moving on to the next one, it's actually another Kato 14 gun. It's a Statrek field tested 4x Hellraiser solo 4x. AK Red Laminate. Each sticker on this gun is worth around 1100 to 1200 USD. Damn. How much are they now? 3k? 2.8k, I think. Crazy. Three times the price. Ah, Jeffrey, I bought this one off. Maybe you know him. One of the nicest guys on Steam. This guy. I'm so sad that he left last online 229 days ago. Such a nice guy, holy shit. With this guy, it was like my closest Chinese friend. He was so fucking nice. Do you know, like back in the day, I was only trading with a few people. With this guy, I traded so many times back and forth. He wanted an item of me, I wanted an item of him. It was always back and forth. Oh, he owned this as well, what the fuck? This guy was so fucking nice. And I remember why he left. I asked him like, hey, what happened? Did you leave the game or something? Imagine what he said. I got so fucking mad for a second. He said he left because his girlfriend is annoyed by him spending so much time on the PC. It made me so fucking mad. I was like, what the fuck, break up this fucking bitch. Damn, ah, I guess he was like not only nice, to me, but also super fucking nice to his girlfriend. Yeah, sorry, I won't play. Ah, oh, god damn, I would have loved to like give her a little, little slap. Fucking let him play, come on. I remember, this was my biggest, uh, biggest trade back in the day. I traded for, or he traded for, he traded for this souvenir dragon lord that I bought. And he gave me like a lot of kados. This was the guy that I traded most with back in the day. So many times. We did easily like, I don't know, 50 trades probably, 40 trades. And all like above, I don't know, 2k value. Such a nice guy. Now it sounds like I just did it uh, for the trades. No, we always traded back and forth, like because we liked our guns. All those skins paid for her 100k wedding ring. Uh, let me message him. Fuck. He should really break up. I'm telling him now. Not coming back to CSGO. Sad face. Pretty sad he's gone. Yes. Next up, we already got a blue gem. 
It's a stat track 5-7k sergeant, field tested. And if you didn't know, a little side note, there are actually two pattern indexes that are considered the number one pattern on the 5-7k. Some little education at the side. There are actually two number one patterns, guys. Okay, listen, listen. Sergeant, which are the pattern index 278, which is this one. And then there's also a pattern index 690 or 690. And that one is also considered the number one pattern. Also. And many people think that both patterns, because they are considered number one, actually look exactly the same, which is not the case because the mm -hmm. pattern index 690, so not mine, um, actually has a little bit less pink. So is. Why was I talking so slow? Holy shit, I'm talking slow. I think I was like still half asleep. In theory, considered as a better pattern. But price wise, they are pretty much on the same level, exact same level. Just a little thing to look for if you are, if you actually want to buy a gun like this as a permanent play skin. It is a field tested block brass with a Titan holder on it. I don't really want to waste time on this one. The sticker itself is worth around 4,500 USD. Bro. The sticker itself is worth around 4,500 USD. Let that one sink. I sold a Titan. Ho I actually sold a Titan holo. If you, uh, Alexa, stop. Uh, a few uh, days ago, for guess how much I sold it for? Eight k? No. Ten point two? No. Twelve k? No. Ten point five? No. Eleven k? Eleven k? Eleven point five k? Eleven k? Which was a decent price, I guess. Fucking four k at this point. Damn. It's a M four one S Nitro factory new with four clan mystic holos. And concept asking you still have that one? Nitro. Oh wait. I have two. <laughs> Fuck bro. <laughs> what did I do with the, uh, with these? <laughs> uh... Yeah, each sticker is worth around 650 USD. 650 USD. They are now like uh how much? 2.8k? Just like Hellraisers? 2.6k probably? On a pixel skin stupa confirmed. They have different floats. Didn't dupe that one. The one of two skin. There's actually another one in Factory New, which a friend of mine owns. I have the better float, so step back, Hopshi. And <laughs> <laughs> Hopshi used to uh, own the, the number two that I also bought. <laughs> Little rose on the side. I think that the Clan Mystic Holo probably looks best when it turns blue or purple. I think. What do you think, Epinephron? I still stand by that, I think. Blue or purple? Purple the best? Yeah, 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 yeah. Purple to 98%. Everyone's saying purple, damn. So many stickers have purple in it. Do you remember the thing that I think Aris posted? Crazy tweet. Wear mask, darker areas will preserve better when scraped. How the fuck did he even look this up? Base color. The background underneath holo effects. Holo spectrum, and he showed the holo spectrum for the nip holo as well, for example, and it showed a lot of purple and green as well. You should retweet it. Vertical offset blue channel, white areas offset holo spectrum sample. That's what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Such a nice tweet. Actually, yeah, fuck it, let me retweet it. Such a good tweet. Cal Mystic is the second worst Cal 14 sticker, don't add me. Whew. Second worst? Second worst for me under Clan Mystic is Nip Holo, Mousebot Solo, 3D Max Holo, Fanatic Holo, Complexity Gaming. I don't think I can say sub or ban. <laughs> I think uh, Twitch wouldn't like that, but that's so fucking wrong. ESL School is the best. Oh, come on. The worst sticker, in my opinion, it's between these two guys. Fanatic is so bad, but Complexity as well. I don't know why people like Complexity. I hate it. It's so small, it's half white, a little bit of red. Why do people like this? Okay, saved. But yeah, I don't know. I think both of these are like trash tier. 3D Max, I like it. Mouse boards, pretty good because it also has purple in it and everything. Nipolo, really liking it, but there are just way too many of them in existence. LDLC Holo, fucking love it. Vox Solo, amazing. Virtus Pro, one of my favorites. Dignitas hate it because there are just so many of them. So many of them. Hellraisers, have to say I like them because Xmelda, Xmelda is paying me uh, to boost the prices. Iber Power Holo, 
of course. LGB, overpriced in my opinion. Titan Holo, crazy. Right now, the most hyped sticker ever. Reason Holo, number one sticker in my opinion. Navi, right behind it. I love the Navi. Undervalued in my opinion. Now I said it, fuck. I said it before, like, I shouldn't share what I want to buy. How can you say that LGB is overpriced? I, oh shit, you, I, I'm paying much better than murder. Oh shit, you have a lot of LGBs, right? LGB is not that bad, actually. Actually, let me revert that. It's not that bad. It's so good, yes. Ananas, I agree. Long term, uh, uh, long term sub. Thank you, Ananas. Now that we got the Glocks out of our way, we can actually move on to some nice skins. We got a M4 I want a Cyrex factory nuke with an Iber Pyro Holo on it. The sticker itself, of course, it's worth around 5,500 USD at the <sighs> moment. Holy shit. One Hot Rod factory nuke, 0 0.007 float. This was with nice. Four Hellraiser Swallows on it. And yeah, this M4 I want S, I always loved the Hot Rod. So owning a 4X Keto Holo Hot Rod actually feels pretty good. I was so happy about this I want S. So fucking nice. What did I trade for this? I remember selling it to Grizzly for cash, I think. But who did I buy it off? I think I got it in a trade for a Stiletto Blue Gem. This hot rod for P2 Stiletto Low Minimal Wear is worth a bit over 1k now. Yeah, crazy. What was it? I think it was here. Sabach, it was. I mean, you always you also have to remember that the hot rod was also worth much less than nowadays. It was this one. Holy fuck, bought it off the guy that I sold it to. Where? Here. Oh my god, it looks so nice. And this sold, I sold it for like 4,000. And holy fuck sold it for like 4,000 as well. Now I had to sell my uh, number one pattern field tested for 4,000. <laughs> There are actually a lot of other Kato 14 crafts made on the hot rod. There's, for example, a M4 bonus hot rod with four Titan holders on it. Then there also is a M4 bonus hot rod. So professional, look at this fucking picture in picture. I was so proud of this. Two Vox holos and two Hellraisers holos. So you don't see that gap, okay? Damn, that annoys me now. Holy shit, I have to take down the video. So, yeah, in my opinion, the Titan holo one is the most sexiest. If I could get my hands on that one. One, two, three, or four. One, two, three, four. Four X Titan, four X IBP, four X Vox, two X Vox, two X Hellraisers. Which one would you play with? You got all four, you have to equip one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three, one. No one saying four, damn. Two, I don't actually know which one I would play with. I don't know why people are saying Vox. I wouldn't play with a Vox. Either IBP or Titan. Probably the Titan one. Radiation has a factory new, which is also souvenir. Ah, so nice. All the souvenir stickers have been scraped. Souvenir factory new, three X Hellraisers. Bought this off. Who did I buy this off? Can't remember. But I sold it to a Chinese guy who then applied uh, the fourth sticker, actually. It's now a 4X. Next up, we got a pretty trashy knife. I got it from the Steam market when the new knives came out. Oh my god. Put many, many buy orders. And now, time after time, they are all triggering. And I was such a retard. I, I put up buy orders when the new case came out because I had Steam balance. And I thought, like, hey, yeah, let's get some sick fucking snipes. <laughs> I forgot about my buy orders and got like three trashy knives uh, in like a week. I got one trashy knife. I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot to put down my buy order. But I didn't check uh, what other buy orders I have. And then the next few days, more trashy knives came in. I think Navaja knife, Statrek field tested, Night Stripe. <laughs> Stuff like this. Two IQ move, yes. I mean, at the beginning, it was a smart move, like right when the case came out to set some buy orders. <laughs> but yeah, it backfired. Pretty interesting when you see one new item in your inventory and you click it and you see such trashy knife flying in. But oh well. Finally, I deleted all of the buy orders. Actually, three of them triggered the past yeah. month. So, don't be lazy, guys. Cancel your buy orders. Ne Check your buy orders now. Cancel them, okay? But first, we will look at this yeah. AK Redline Stat Trek Battle Scard with four IBPs on it, two of them being holo. By the way, I upload some screenshots on Steam, right? And my most upvoted screenshot on Steam. Why? Why? <laughs> Stat Trek Battle Scard. Fucking 300 upvotes. Why? 
Power, this is a great combo, nice combo. Sugerblatt, what is this for a map? Do you see? see, I was such a nice guy, always responding. Sexy ass picture, love it. Shit, it's so sad, oh my god. That it isn't factory new <laughs> and full holo stack. <laughs> oh. You may not like it, but I actually like it. This reminds me of the good old times, because I actually used to own this skin one or two years ago, I think. And now oh, yeah. I finally bought it back. So yeah, I re-bought it. And it was such a hard time. I had such a hard time uh, reselling it the second time. Such a hard time. I think I had this for like, I don't know, half a year or something. It was so hard. But then one guy just bought it off uh, Bitskins at some point. I think he wanted to resell it to me at, uh, again. And then I said like, no, sorry. <laughs> this time I don't take it anymore. Next up, we actually got my other AWP which I actually paid a ton for because I really wanted this. This was nice. It's a AWP snake camo Factory New. It's actually a pretty rare skin in Factory New. It also has a 0, 0.0. So nice. Factory New, Titan Dignitas Crown. Ooh. And this was like the second skin that I borrowed to Device. And it was, was it in a major? I can't remember. For the finals, yeah. I, I loved this fucking skin. Damn. And he lo loved it as well. He said like, Yo, your snake camo. I love weird skins. Can I, uh, can I try it? Such a nice skin. But holy shit, I sold this for so much, I think. I bought it for a lot. I think I bought it for like 400 or 500 bucks and sold it for like 800 bucks. Crazy. So next up, we got a skin that I just purchased a few days ago. So it's nice. It's a Desert Eagle Blaze Factory New with four Keto Holos on it. So nice. And these things actually go for such a high sticker percentage. I already talked about it in, I think, my oh. first video or second video, where I covered the Iber Power Holo one, which actually goes for around 1,500 USD. So, so nice. Yeah, this one for Jeffrey, I bought this one for, I think, 800? USD and sold it for 1.3k and the new owner now <laughs> is asking like 3k 4k I don't know and I wanted to sell this fast I don't know why I sold it in between like two weeks or something I should have kept this so damn nice so rare like a 4x Caterpillar Blaze absolutely worth it just look at it in game it just looks so insane in my opinion it's 100% worth it it's by far the best deagle that I've ever owned <laughs> And Hand this on. is just one of the skins that I'm not looking forward to sell. It can <laughs> sell it two weeks later. Ah, uh, why am I like this? Fuck my life. And just stay in my inventory how long it wants. Absolutely sexy. It's a Stat Trek Factory New Karambit case hardened. How did I do the trade actually? I think I I bought this. <laughs> it's for a souvenir. And everyone told me, oh my god, you are so retarded. I bought this knife for a, <laughs> oh my god, I hate saying it now because the prices went crazy. I bought this one for one for a souvenir field test dragon lore. <laughs> uh, and I sold it for, what did I sell it for? I sold it for the number one pattern. What I got for it was also pretty nice, but like, I don't know why I gave a souvenir dragon lore for it. This is what I got for it. I got this, the number one pattern karambit, but battle scarred. Which was at that time three thousand. Now it's like it sold. It just sold for seven thousand or something. So yeah, I got this and a Star Trek AK case hardened one five one, I think, which was worth two thousand. So basically, I got this plus two thousand, which was back then five thousand, and I bought it for a souvenir field tested dragon law, which was back then three point eight k. Was a decent trade, but looking back at it, horrible, because then the Karambit 387, I sold it so cheap. I sold it for like 4k and now it's 8k or something. For the next video, I already have something planned and recorded. It's also about Cat of 14 skins. So for the next video, I already have something planned and recorded. I feel so bad looking at this right now.